I'm calling. Maybe I'm selfish. I'll talk you to myself. I can't help it. Okay, so next video. Okay, so I'm gonna do this video because I'm Called yes, I did it for him. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> okay, this is a new video, so I'm just gonna do this again because it is a new video. Okay, okay, okay. So um, this one, yes, I did it for him. This is because a lot of women say oh, I did this for me and I did do it for me of course I did it for me of course but I do have someone in my life that I had in mind when I got the balls to do what I did <laughs> now of course it wasn't totally for somebody else okay I would have done this whether I was with him or not but I probably would have it would have been easy for me to flake or psych myself out into not doing it now or I don't know I just I don't think that it would have been as easy if I didn't have him as motivation and I did it for both of us you know but I, I'm tired of hearing women say especially women that are married you know it's not or in love it's nothing wrong with saying that you did something for him you know, you want him to say he did something for you. You don't want him to be afraid to claim you, to take pictures with you, to put you on social media. You know, especially women, we are good for that, okay? You don't claim me. You how you you don't want nobody to know we together. I don't see no pictures on your phone. Why I ain't got no picture on your screensaver? <laughs> you know, with my picture in your office um, at work. You know, stuff like that. We are sentimental like that, and we do think that way. So, it's I don't think it's wrong to be honest with yourself and keep it real. If you're married and you have a husband, or if you're just in love, to say that you did it not just for you, but you did it for him too. I did. I did. <laughs> I didn't do it with just me in mind. The truth, okay? I did it for him too. He likes hips. He likes butt. I was going to be insecure about that because I, to me, I don't like my hips and my butt. I didn't think I looked attractive when it came to that. Yeah, I had the boobs. I had the boobs. And even if he was just the boob man, I probably still would have wanted it and did it because I just like to be a, a pleasing aesthetically to myself. I just want to know that I look good. And because if, if we didn't make it, then, you know, I have to still be insecure and think about why we didn't make it and, and things like that. That would be on my mind. As much as I want to say that it wouldn't, as much as I want to, you know, just say that I did this for myself, I'm keeping it 100. Y'all know I keep it 100 about everything. I would think about it, especially if uh, if we didn't make it and the woman that he got with looked like this, <laughs> you know, if she had all this going on, you know, I would be like, did we not make it because of that? You know, I, I, I just don't, I don't want to be dishonest or to lie about anything on here. I have to be honest, you know, um, I, I didn't do it just for me. I didn't. <laughs> um, yes, it was 70% for me, absolutely. And honestly, I probably would have did it anyway, because like I said, this is something that I've always wanted, and I want to look good for myself, whether I'm with somebody or not. But he was in mind. Honest to God, he was. And I'm very happy with it. I am happy that he is happy with it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He is. <laughs> and, um, I mean, I couldn't ask for better. I think that Dr. Mejio did a wonderful job. Um, I do want to tighten it up. Make sure that, you know, I do stay looking good. You know, I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to waste my money. I don't want to 
you know, be in a situation where, well, I, you kind of can't unless I gain like 200 extra pounds, you know, I'm kind of not going to be in a situation where I was before because even then, you know, my, I would still be shaped like this, but I don't want to be in the state of mind that I was in before with I don't like my body and if I was to gain two, three hundred more pounds, which ain't gonna happen of course, then that's what state of mind I would be in. So that's what I mean by that. Um, but one thing that we have to be honest about in our relationship any relationship, okay? I'm talking friendships with your homegirls, I'm talking um, your kids. Um, I'm talking especially in relationships. Let's let's be clear. The way you feel about yourself will affect that relationship. Okay? If you don't feel good about how you look and who you are up here mentally and spiritually, you will mess up that relationship. You'll mess up your relationship, especially your romantic relationship or your marriage. If you're not securing yourself, you are not going to carry yourself in a secure way, which means that you are going to lash out. You're not going to want to go outside. You're not going to want to do things with your partner. And if your partner even takes a double take or a look or just looks a second too long at someone else, you are going to feel insecure. You're not going to like it. You can't do that to your partner again and again and again and expect them to understand and want to stay with you. You can't not want to take pictures or go outside or, or do this or do that in life and be secure about yourself, insecure about yourself, and then expect your partner to want to stay with you. You know, we need to feel comfortable with ourselves. Here's the thing. My honey is fine, okay? <laughs> Look. I'm talking about, wait till y'all see him. Body, green eyes. I mean, he got it all, okay? Now, I am pretty. I am. And I am smart. I am a wonderful catch. Don't get me wrong. But realistically, y'all, I needed to be his match. <laughs> Being with him and being with somebody that looked like him would have made me insecure about myself if I had that body. If I didn't fix what was going on with me physically, because I was insecure about my physical look, I was going to mess up that relationship. Being insecure about the way that I look is what got in the way of my marriage and all the relationships after that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, my husband loved me. The guys out, I don't know if the men love me. I don't even want to talk about them. I ain't had a good relationship since my husband. So anyway, my husband loved me. My husband now loves me. Okay. My husband in the past loved me too. I messed that up. Okay. Um, I mean, we did, we both, we both, you know, did our wrongs or whatever. But, you know, mostly I was a little immature. <laughs> Mostly, and that's because I was younger than him. Um, but my insecurities is what really got in the way of that relationship. And this is about insecurities, okay? I'm, I'm, I just need to keep it real on that. If you are insecure about yourself, the way you look, uh, the way, who you are spiritually, you feel broken emotionally, um, you don't feel like you're enough, then you will take that into your next relationship. If you don't want to be with someone right now, but you know you need to work on yourself, work on yourself. Get that together, okay, for you, okay, because the next person that you're with you can mess up that same relationship the same way if you're not secure about yourself. And that's what I mean by I did this for us. Because I knew that if I didn't work on myself, if I didn't get myself together, if I didn't feel secure in me and who I am as a person, this was just going to be another relationship that I messed up because I wasn't secure in who I am. I'm not in this relationship by myself. 
I'm in this relationship with him as well. I love him, he loves me. So me doing this was me doing this for us, not just for me. And that's what I mean. I hope I made that clear. <laughs> um, ladies, don't be afraid to say to your friend, your daughter, your mom, or whoever else asks that you are doing it for you and your husband, you and your boyfriend, you and the person that loves you, that's in love with you, okay? Don't be afraid to make that decision. I said on a previous video that first you have to admit why you are doing something and, and that you want to do it before you can take the step into doing that. Just admit Look, I am insecure. I need to lose weight. I'm going to lose weight first and then I'm going to be here or I'm going to do this first and then I'm going to do this. You know, just admit it. Put it all out on the table. That's what's going to help you to move forward to changing yourself, to becoming the person that you're aspiring to be or doing the things that you aspire to do. You have to actually admit first, this is what I want. So this is what I'm going to do. This is who I'm doing this for. You know, it's going to help you move forward, to jump over that hurdle, to get it done. Okay? All right. Next video. <laughs> I want you to myself. I can't help it. Spotlight like Mr. Bentley I spotted her like Spud McKenzie And for them fake boobies I paid them Benjis 